and we are moving on now in, in terms of unexpected things um let's move to stefan and his uh, project casting dot club uh, you as i probably did not think that um one could play chess over the ferryworks but here we are take it from here yes thank you Jonas. um hi everyone i'm stefan and i'm here to show you castling club uh, let me share my screen real quick this one all right so casting club is a way to play chess on the fediverse um the url for it is literally castling.club and um, that's a valid top level domain <laughs> but i'm going to show you how it works by um just using two regular mastodon accounts um i'm using semaphore as a client just because it's um easier for the demo in my case i can look up king at castling club and send him a note so i want to challenge uh, this other player there you go and it will come back to me shortly with the um, initial board state. I'm going to force refresh here a couple of times. Here it is. So it's the starting board for a chess game. It will stack, select a starting player at random. Um, and then I will play it. It's, uh, this player is the first to go. So this player can send a reply. Let's do uh, E4. That's standard notation for moving up one of the pawns. Um, and it will come back to me again shortly. Uh, let's force refresh. There we go. So you can see it draws the move with a little arrow that shows the new board state. And the board is also flipped to face the player whose turn it is now. And that's the essence of it. You go back and forth and uh, do your moves like this. Um, so all of this could have been a simple client application for the Macedon API or MISCI API. But for me, Castling Club was about uh, uh, playing around with the with federating servers. So Castling Club is a full server in the Fediverse. Uh, why would you do that? Well, <laughs> A, for fun, uh, but B, uh, one of the things uh, that you just saw in the, in the last demo, you can create um, objects as you please. So I can go here to the original URL for this, um, for this uh, note that Castling Club sent me and see that it's a page on Gosling Club. And this is the very um, very activity pub node object that you see. So you servers talk to each other in um, in uh, using JSON LD and you can request this uh, object as JSON. Um, am I doing it wrong? I'm doing it wrong. There we go. Um, but you can but this is for notes, that's simple, but what Darius just showed you um, is like you can create actor objects as well. So when you created an event and created an, a complete new account in the Fediverse, and I could have done, done the same for every game, basically, Get, create a new account that could make it easier to follow for players who are playing multiple games concurrently. But another popular thing you might have seen is Twitter bridges. Those create actor objects on the fly. So that's kind of cool. But uh, the third thing you can do as a server that's kind of fun is extend the activity pub model. This is something that came up in a session yesterday. Uh, the data you can extend the data model in various ways, and one of the easiest ones is just adding custom properties to the JSON LD object. So I added a custom context here for chess and some extra properties. There are some variants of the image, uh, the board image facing different sides. Um, there's a Standard notation for the current game state called FEN. And you can see the standard notation for the move here, et cetera, et cetera. So you can extend this data model to make things machine readable, for example. Um, now, what can what else can Costling Cup do? Um, if I go back, there's a little landing page that shows you a challenge board. You can put your name up here if you're okay with being challenged by random players. Um, there's recent games. So you can click through to a game, see the current state. Uh, Replay the game move by move. Um, all of this is open source. So you can see at the bottom here, a link to GitHub. It's MIT licensed and written in Node.js. Um, maybe it can serve as a fun example. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you, Stefan. Um, that imagine, you know, you could put all your multiplayer games or, or games that have more than one person in it onto the Fediverse. Imagine what you could do.
Um, it opens up all sorts of possibilities. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Stefan.